Hi, in this module, I'm going to be talking about machine learning and give you an overview of all the topics we're going to cover. So remember that machine learning is the process of taking data and converting it into models. And with those models, you can go and perform inferences and answer all sorts of questions. So we're going to focus on reflex-based models. These are models including linear classifiers, neural networks, which, in which inference is very fast and feed-forward, which makes them very attractive. So in a nutshell, this is what a reflex-based model is. You will call a reflex-based model a predictor, and the predictor takes as input some x and produces some output y. And in general, x can be something arbitrary like an image or a text, and y is going to be restricted, and that particular restriction is going to determine what type of prediction task we are talking about. We'll consider two common cases of prediction tasks here. The first is binary classification. So in binary classification, the predictor is also called a classifier. And the output y is called a label. And that label can either be plus 1 for the positive class or minus 1 for the negative class. So some examples of binary classification problems. There's fraud detection, where x is a credit card transaction. And you're trying to predict y, whether there's fraud or no fraud, so that the transaction can be blocked or not. Another example is moderating online discussion forums. So the input x is an online comment, a piece of text, and you're trying to predict y, whether it's toxic or not, so that the comment can be flagged or taken down appropriately. And finally, here's an example from physics. So after the Higgs boson was discovered, scientists want to know, how does it decay? So the Hadron Collider collected a bunch of data, which includes measurements of events. So here x is a measurement of a particular event, and you're trying to predict whether it was a decay event or simply background. So the second type of task we're going to consider is regression. So in regression, y is going to be a real number, and is generally known as the response. So here are some examples of regression problems. So in poverty mapping, x is a satellite image, and you're trying to predict y, which is the asset wealth index of the homes in that area in the satellite image. In housing, you might want to predict using the information about the house, location, number of bedrooms, year, and predict the price. And finally, you might be interested in predicting arrival times, given where you're going, what their conditions at the time, uh, what time of day it is, and you're trying to predict y, which is the time of arrival. So the main difference between regression and classification is that in classification, y is a discrete entity, and in regression, it is a continuous entity. So the final thing we're going to talk about is structured prediction. So in structured prediction, is a little bit of a catch-all. And in structured prediction, y is simply a complex object. So some examples include machine translation, where x, the input, is a sentence in one language, and y is its translation in another language. Dialogue can also be cast as structured prediction. You're given a conversational history between a user and an agent, for example, in a virtual assistant setting, and you're trying to predict y, which is the next utterance that the agent should say. Another example is image captioning, which might be useful for visual assistive technologies. X is an image of a scene, and y is a sentence describing or narrating that scene. Image segmentation, which is useful for autonomous driving, takes an image of a scene as x and produces y, which is a segmentation of that scene into uh, regions corresponding to objects in the real world. So it might seem daunting at first to be able to generate segmentations or sentences or texts, but there's a secret here, which is that many structure prediction problems can be actually decomposed into a sequence of multi-class classification problems. And this allows us to leverage the machinery that we'll talk about in just multi-class classification for structure prediction. So here is the roadmap of the rest of the modules in the machine learning unit. So first, we're going to start with regression and classification, the bread and butter of machine learning. And we're going to focus on the most simple settings, linear models where we're training using gradient descent. 
Then we're going to step over to algorithms and introduce stochastic gradient descent, which is going to give us major speed ups over gradient descent. Next, we're going to hop over to models and improve from linear models. So first, we'll show that actually even linear models can be pushed to its limits by using nonlinear features, using linear machinery. We can use feature templates to organize a set of features that we have. Uh, then we'll talk about neural networks, which also allows you to have nonlinear predictors, but allow these nonlinearities to be learned from data. Um, following neural networks, we're going to look at the backpropagation algorithm for computing gradients automatically, so you don't have to do it yourself manually, um, so you can train neural networks. We're going to hop back over here and talk about differential programming, which is a generalization or extension of neural networks that will enable us to build all sorts of complicated deep learning models uh, using like building blocks. And all of this is generally done in the context of supervised learning. We're going to touch on unsupervised learning a little bit and introduce the classical k-means algorithm for clustering points. And finally, we're going to end on a few notes. So first is generalization, the question of if you train a machine learning model on a particular set of data, when does it, is it able to generalize to a new set of examples? And finally, I'm going to talk about best practices like cross-validation and how do you do machine learning in practice. So that concludes this module.